Hello, it's Monday, September the 26th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with the Daily Outlook from UFX Markets. The dollar continued with its bullish trend against the other major currencies as the Fed saw they saw significant downside risks to the U.S. economy. And the European debt crisis continued to be at the top of the news, leading investors to stick with the U.S. dollar as a refuge investment. Wall Street closed bullish after dropping three days as Nasdaq increased by 1.12% and the Dow by 0.35%. Crude oil weakened by 0.5% to close at $80.50 a barrel. Gold, however, plunged by 6% as investors sold the metal to cover losses in other assets, finishing the day at $1,632 an ounce. Today, new home sales are expected to be 293,000 versus 298,000 prior. The euro erased some losses against the dollar as European officials announced they would be taking steps to prevent further debt contagion in the, in the euro region. The euro dollar's momentum is bearish as long as the pair remains below 138. Next support on the daily chart is at 134. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 134.18 and a high of 135.67. The pound fell for a third consecutive day against the dollar amid speculation the Bank of England will respond to slowing global economic growth after saying they may need to buy more bonds to keep borrowing costs capped. As long as the pound dollar is trading below 158.60, the trend for the pound is still very negative. The next support level on the daily chart is at 153.50. If the pair breaks below this level, the pound might slump to 151.20. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 153.59 and a high of 154.91. No economic data is expected today. The yen fluctuated against the major pairs on Friday as a positive day for the stock market and the dollar caused instability in the yen. The dollar yen has been struggling at 76.50 in the past few days. As long as the pair is trading below 177.20, the yen is the more attractive. The next support line on the daily chart is at 76. Overall, the dollar yen traded with a low of 76.15 and a high of 76.88. No economic data is expected today. Finally, the CAD. The Canadian dollar weakened versus the dollar due to weakening oil prices. As long as the pair is trading above 101, the trend of the US dollar is very positive. The moving average indicator on the daily chart also supports a bullish trend. Next resistance on the daily chart is at 103.55. Overall, the dollar CAD traded with a low of 102.24 and a high of 103.48. No economic data is expected today. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at UFX Markets for all your online trading needs.